Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about poster presentation. So usually uh, in your later years of studying, you have something which is known as poster presentation. Many of you don't know what poster presentation is or probably you have an idea, but you don't know how to proceed. So I'll just give you my experience so that your experience and your poster becomes better. The very first thing comes into picture is the template. So there are various sites giving you free template for poster presentation. You don't need to pay unless it is a very unique template. Certain things you need to know while making this. So the first things first, template. Usually your teachers would say what size of the template needs to be there. But if it is not there, you can just select the normal standard size of the template. Uh, the thing here to remember is take a template which is horizontal rather than a vertical. So that, you know, um, if you want to increase the font size, that data can be distributed. The second thing is, whose poster are you presenting? Uh, two options again, either your university has given you certain instructions, like for example, you have to take a research paper, somebody else has published a research paper and you just need to make a poster and present it. In that case, the marks are given for presenting the poster rather than, you know, doing the research because you have not done it. The second option is wherein you do your own research, you publish a thesis and you also have a poster of your research work. So in that case, you have a lot more data and you need to make it into a minimum format so that it comes into your uh, poster right so you might be very sure as to uh, whose poster it is by now right so is it yours or is it somebody else's if it's yours well fine and good you have all the data you know what you have done and you can go ahead but if it is else's what you need to do you just go to sites called you know n number of sites are there actually ncbi the common site uh, type in uh, whatever topic you want to in the title select five years because that period needs to be you know quite recent when you select a research paper you can't select 1990 paper it needs to be quite recent paper and you collect, read the paper, go through it very well, make points, jot down points so that accumulating those points in the research paper is, is easy, obviously. Third thing is how will you present it? So for this also, you have various instructions given. If you have uh, instructions like you just present it in soft copy. Some have hard copy, which is flex. You need to print the entire poster in flex printing. So, uh, these instructions will, will be also given to you uh, for flex. Now, flex is something you need to take into consideration while making the poster. I'll get into the details later. What format of the poster is given to you? So, what format? So, if this is my 
poster the above uh, header should be distinct than the rest part of the poster this header would contain your title of the research the author's name and the place where the research was conducted so your you know your department of xyz and so and so university so that address would be there so place if um you know depending on how much data it is normally three columns are made the first column is introduction so introduction J just give a gist about the research you don't need to put in a lots of you know data since it is presentation that thing should be constantly in your brain not to add too much of data put in more images if you possibly can about the introduction um if not just make small bullet points and finish that introduction off the second is aims and objective what was the aim of the research even if you haven't done the research there would be something the person is trying to find out that would become the aim third thing is materials and methods materials as in you don't need to jot down every single sterile prepared sterile glassware you know no it's just the above like gist of the materials okay uh, normally materials aren't even included it's just the topic materials and methods wherein uh, a flow chart normally you could just put a flow chart of the methodology first we did this thing second third and then you determine something at the end so four basic steps and done so that is the methodology fourth is your result so if it's your paper you have the pictures of your result you don't have an issue but if it is somebody else's paper and you don't have anything to you know put as a proof that you proved something what you do for example say zone of inhibition there would be a table obviously the person who is doing a research would have a picture what you can do is if you don't have anything put that result in the form of graph that will be more attractive so in result graph could be used the fifth is conclusion and discussion wherein you conclude whatever you want to and you discuss up related to some other paper that okay uh, my paper says this thing and you know somebody else's paper said this thing so you discuss a lot of possible opinions about the same topic conclusion and discussion it's under the same topic though and uh, sixth could be now some people don't have this thing some do have it a uh, future prospect you found out something regarding a particular product what could be future prospect of that product according to you now this is your idea it's your uh, completely up to you whether you want to include this or you don't want to include it seventh is acknowledgement wherein if it's your paper you thank somebody um, that particular statement is you know i i'm grateful for somebody's help somebody's department that is acknowledgement obviously this is for people who do their own research not for somebody who's presenting somebody else's research and the last is references wherein um uh, if it's your research you could give the references of other papers which could be referred 
while reading your article and if it is somebody else's research paper whatever research paper you took the citation could be into uh, the reference column right okay so this is how the basic poster is done now what what is you know there are little things which you need to keep in mind like making header distinct than the entire poster uh, that these topics introduction aims and objectives these should be also quite different now if possible use three colors maximum not don't make it a multicolor poster uh, three four colors and keep using it constantly here and there so it's eventually that particular color is spread out and it looks good font size now depending on what format you are giving your presentation if it's flex make sure your font size should be really big and then the printout would come nicely like the you know the titles of the graph uh, or the numbers in the vertical axis wherever that little numbers so minute they are normally that they don't come out very clearly in flex printing so you need to keep everything bold uh, if possible keep less of data enlarge the pictures uh, or the graph so that you know the flex printing does a very good job if it is a presentation in the form of soft copy then yet you need to check trial could be done for checking how it is projecting and thus you can change the font size for me it was like i did first 32 it didn't come so clearly it was so minute so i had to do 48 and it was yet minute and i didn't get the another chance so that thing you need to keep in mind now we'll talk about flex so flex printing the basic flex is a material uh, you just go to a normal stationery and he would charge you some 90 130 range for the normal flex you above that is star flex which is 180 to 230 to 50 depending on what area you live in and uh, in that star flex printing the little uh, font size are quite clear than the normal flex and uh, you know you you have digital flex lots of types of flex so make sure you make a very good poster so that you don't need to pay for the expensive ones um, one more thing i wanted to say is uh, the type of font normally you just use times roman calibri and arial these three are the fonts you should use you cannot use comic sans and all that calligraphic fonts just make it a you know a decent one uh, that's all I could you know jot down for you guys um, that's it for the video thank you so much for watching bye bye